Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and um, just continuing on the um, what will be the new Texan receiver, the S2200X. So I've written today um, to let them know about uh, my interest in this radio and if it would be possible to have a um, review unit. And uh, at the same time, I'm looking more at the specs and everything. And there's a lot of people that have the questions, you know, like how good is this going to be and is it going to be better? One thing for sure, uh, internally, it doesn't have anything to do with the original Texan S2000. Uh, Just looking at the specs, uh, this is, and technically by the specs, should be a better radio. Um. It has more bandwidths, uh, and it is a triple conversion with DSP. A lot of people are saying, well, it's always going to mute. It's not going to mute because I'm pretty sure that the triple conversion means they're using the DSP chip for the uh, digital processing capabilities it has, just like they're doing in the Texan PL990, H501, and so on. So I'm pretty sure that the end listening will be more of a PLL tuning which would not mute um, and I would I would think that that's what they're going to do with this so there's there, I don't think there's going to be muting while tuning on this uh, the other things that are interesting also so there's several bandwidths and all of that um, of course there's going to be synchronous detection technically this is a redone receiver inside um, it has and shares a lot of the common um, interesting f- specs of like the Texan uh, PL990 H501 series. Um, it's so they, they probably partly at least used kind of a design that they already had, but hopefully, like I said, that the uh, single sideband will be stable above, um, above 20 megahertz. Yeah, it will be very interesting to see the reviews of this. I know that uh, there will be some reviews from uh, known uh, sources that we can trust as reviewers. Um, And, of course, hopefully maybe I'll get one to review. Or we can maybe do a kind of a crowdfund, some kind of crowdfunding thing and uh, try to get the money for uh, me to purchase it, which is even better because uh, it's... You know, even though my reviews are very fair, there's always that, you know, yeah, but you get it for free. Uh, there's always someone somewhere. Um, one thing for sure, it has to perform really well because it's in competition with great radios that cost a lot less. Um, I could see the appeal once again. It's like the S2000 or the Ethan. Some people are saying, well, this looks like a, the Ethan. Yeah, the Ethan is a Texan. Whatever brand you got it, a Grundig. Uh, or a Ethan 750, uh, it's a Texan. This is not copied from Ethan or anything. It's Texan that made the original S2000. The Ethan Elite 750 is a Texan S2000. Uh, the Grundig version is the is the Texan S2000. They're all the same. They all have the same flaws. And once again, I got a couple of comments of, well, you know, yours must be defective. It's not. The flaws that I have in my review are on every single unit. And that's why I call it a crappy radio. The bandwidth's way too wide on AM on the S2000, uh, which should not be the case here because it has multiple bandwidths. This is going to be fixed. Uh, I hope it's going to be direct on frequency, no off frequency like the original S2000. It's 2 to 3 kilohertz off when you use the wide filter. Um, things like that. This also, just seeing the display, you see the uh, digits are to the 10th of Hertz so this means this is going to be more precise tuning which means this is not going to use a BFO it's going to be fine tuning using just tuning around the frequency just like a good radio like a a much more advanced receiver and um, one of the things that I hope that they do add and they do have on it is what a lot of the Texan radios have, a possibility of um, having calibration of frequency so that you can calibrate it 
when if it's a little off. Uh, but we could see that this is definitely a different radio. Interesting, they added RF gain. So they're kind of using partly the design of the original S2000, but added um, something that seems and might be more uh, better in performance. And we'll see what 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 how good it is uh, at some point. Uh, one thing for sure is expensive, but you know it's a big radio and it seems to have that same rotatable antenna at the top for a medium wave band. Uh, these are all things that uh, you know make a radio more expensive. Uh, we'll see what comes next, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't mute. I'm pretty sure that this is hopefully, if well designed, going to be a better radio than the uh, original S2000. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.